Yep. Continue you, on Zobanek Road for two miles. Where are you taking us, Michael? To there. On this dirt road. Okie dokie. Oh, look, over there. That's where we're going. Future home to Chiwa Destin. No. Or we go back? No. Future home of 34 barrels of whiskey. Oh, really? There's 34 something like you could read it past, but I'm sure it was maybe. In 1,000 feet, you will arrive at your destination. Oh, yeah. The other cars. You've arrived. Oh, these people are yeah. They got they got special outfits on. They must have a wedding there somewhere. Yeah. Dun dun dun. Oh how cute is this? We've arrived in the rain. So I take it you've got uh, like a wedding venue or an event venue here? Yeah, we do. Um, I think David will take you guys towards it. Um, but we have uh, we have a very large barn, and so people will rent, rent that out for the receptions. Oh, okay. And then in the back, we have a nice little wood line where there's a little arch where people can get married. Oh, very cool. Yep. So we've got a wedding and, uh, and a uh, reception tonight. Um, I think it's like 150 people, something like that. Very cool. So they've, yeah. <laughs> they've, uh, they've, we've got two of our bartenders over there catering it with them, and then they brought outside food caterers. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, it should be a pretty good time. Is there a bathroom inside? Yeah, it's in and to the right. So, very good. You want to look at, look at drinks? Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm just gonna do that. Just old fashioned. Yep. And I am going to try the salted maple old fashioned. Yeah. Salted maple? Yeah. Did you want the 1887 old fashioned, sir? Yes. Okay. That sounds Maybe. delish. Yeah. Wait, you don't want the new stuff? Delish. Cool. Oh, what whiskey? In a barrel. In a big barrel. Cool. Yeah. And a little. <laughs> so this time we are starting out in the gift shop. I think we're in between showers, so um, yes. yeah, for sure. Head off that way. And, All right. Um, we we'll do a little history of, of the place. And, um, that's our favorite yes, part. Yeah, we like the history. We are. For sure. Yeah. So, how did you guys? You guys are involved in, in a bourbon like block. See, yeah, yeah. We have yes. a, a bourbon block because we kept we were such all of us so much learned about bourbon. We just got fell in love with the history and stuff like that. That we got so many people asking us about where to go in Mobile. So we would. I guess we have a photographer. Then be, because we're photographers, we had so much content, yeah. picture-wise. So we decided just to go ahead, put it all in one place so our friends and family yeah. could, could see our journeys. Yeah. But also we could say, you know, when someone said, where do we go? Well, check out this blog yeah. post and, you know, these are the ones you want to hit. Um, and that's that's the emphasis of, well, and of, and of course the origin started, of that. It started down in Kentucky, Louisville. Yeah. So we've done lots of distilleries yeah. down there, and now it's kind of evolved into doing local, more local mm -hmm. distilleries. Yeah. And so we appreciate you guys picked us to come see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But I've heard a few things about Ironfish, and I was like, I want to go up there. So we talked about it, and that's how we. Ended up yeah, because home is where. Um, Elk Hunt, Indiana. Okay. Uh, yep. we, we picked up a bottle of Ironfish um, in um, Niles, Michigan, actually. So this was a, this was a trip. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. We came up here just to see you. And for this. Yeah. <laughs>
Why don't we, why don't we head over here where it's a little quieter? Go right on the road to the bar. We'll go down there. But sure. when, I, when we go down there, I love these grounds. It's a smaller right. one, you know. Chore time. That's made in our. Yep, just down the road. They're going to make um, two more for us, and uh, they've, they've uh, agreed to put the Ironfish logo on Oh, really? Side, ah, short, super. Short time on the other side. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. This is the first time they've ever done it. Oh, really? But, but the, the people we're working with out of Grand Rapids, they said, well, let's ask them. Yeah. Said, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so this, like, if you, if you look around you right now, this used to be a 360-acre farm. That was owned by people, um, George and Iva Chamberlain. George and Iva Chamberlain came here in 1887, and well, they bought at least they bought this in 1887. They bought 360 acres. They paid 500 bucks for it. Yeah. And and, and I know that because the, when my wife and I bought this property in that old house, all the all the papers and stuff were in there. So the actual deed is. is oh, very cool. That, 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 that happened. And then George and Iva they farmed this till about 1940. Hmm. And then uh, they had a few sons, and one of the sons, Victor, always had, had farmed with his father. And so Victor took the farm over. And so Victor then and his wife, with like a late wife, like they married when they were in their 50s, um, uh, Martha and Victor farmed this until about 1990. So all over 100 years, wow. this, was, this was in production. And it was the biggest farm in the area. Um, they used to have uh, crops here. They had pig, chickens, some cows. Um, I don't. I don't think they ever, I think back then it was more subsistence, but they probably did okay, you know. Um, and they um, lived in that house until they were about 90, and then their heart health was starting to fail. And they moved into Frankfurt, which is not too far from here, and um, they never came back to the farm. Yeah. Oh my God. So that's that's the where, where this property came from, and then why are we here is my wife, Heidi, um, her mother was born in Beulah, and if you're not from here, but Beulah is about 15 minutes um, towards the lake. And um, so she was born in Beulah, her mother was, and then she eventually moved to Saginaw, if you're familiar with where Saginaw yep. is. Mm -hmm. So Heidi was born in Saginaw, my wife, and I was born in Saginaw, so that's where we grew up. But we'd always come up here to visit because um, there were relatives up here. Heidi hasn't had. And Aunt Beulah, who lived in Beulah. Yeah. So we come see Aunt Beulah. Yeah. Is it named after her? <laughs> no, no, she might have been named Not after that her. Old. She wasn't that old. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and um, so we would come, we've been coming up here for 50 years. You know? And um, 20 years ago, about 20 years ago, Heidi and I bought a place on the other side of that tree line. Um, the Betsy River is right over there. Okay. So we bought a place hmm. in the Betsy. And for quite a while, we would just come up here with our kids and hike and bike and do the things you do up north. And then about 10 years ago, a for sale sign went up on right at the end of our driveway, and it was on that field. And so I convinced Heidi, I said, you know, we're, we were both getting towards the end of, of careers that we'd had for 30 some years, you know. And um, I said, you know, we should we should buy that piece of land that we could just like, monkey around with, it, you know, put a hop yard in, put a little vineyard in, you know, that kind of stuff. And, and amazingly, she agreed. <laughs> so we bought that 44 acres, and then. Ended up with a tractor and then another tractor, and then the, the year after that, this side of the road went for sale, this 75 acres. And so I went back to Heidi and I actually convinced her again that we should buy this side of the road because I could put my tractors in the barn. Oh, there you go. And yeah. she said, Well, if you get the barn, I get the house. And you know, we're, we're like, Yeah, I go, Okay, that's okay. So we spent three years fixing up the house and turned it into an Airbnb. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. And then she decided that the barn um, needed to be fixed up too, and, and it became you know, an events barn, and I have, there's no tractors in there. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I for lost sure the not. But, but that's, that's how we got up here, and that's how we ended up owning this piece of property. Yeah. And then about eight years ago, um, Richard, who you've, you've, you've communicated with, he um, was turning 60. Okay. And um, he and I both, like the, um, at, at the time, really liked the, uh, like, really smoky PD scotches, mm -hmm. you know, Lafroy, Fire yeah. oh, yeah. and Art Bag. Yeah. And, Don's favorite. Not so much, but I, I I can't drink it anymore. It's just like I, yeah, it's just too much. And but anyway, at, at the time, yeah. So Sarah, um, Richard's wife, and Heidi's sister. So oh, so there's two there sisters, <laughs> two sisters, two brother-in-laws. So she got Richard a, a trip to Scotland to go to the island of Isla, which is where all the mm. scotches yeah. oh, are yeah. made. 
and she didn't want to go, so she asked me if I would go, and that's an easy thing to say yeah. yes to. You know? Cross my arm. And, and there's really three brother-in-laws. There's three sisters and three brothers-in-law. So we all, the three brother-in-laws went to Isla. Oh, cool. And we spent uh, four days there going to all the, there was nine different distilleries on the island. We went to all the distilleries, you know. And on one of the tours that we were taking, one of us, you know, said to the other, jokingly, hey, we can just do this in Michigan. That's where, that's what, that's the words that came out of one of our mouths. We don't, nobody admits it, <laughs> whose mouth it came out of anymore. And, uh, well, that's what we get, we get all nervous when these guys say that. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have a scalp or something. So, Quiet. so we, um, we, we, talked about that over scotch and cigars you know, while we were in, in Scotland yeah. and never thought it was going to happen. Yeah. But ended up coming home, I, I couldn't quite let it go and so mm. I, I found this place in Chicago that would do um, tours, or not tours, but like a training program. Yeah, okay. It was, it was uh, Koval. Yeah. Oh yeah, Koval. we know yeah. Koval. We haven't yeah. been there, but... Yeah, and really nice people. And, yeah. And they rep a company called Coda, which is yeah. still company. Yeah. Yeah. And so, we learned a whole bunch of stuff, and then we came back here. And we, one of the things we found out is it took 18 months to get us there, right. and it took 18 months to get a permit. Oh wow! So yeah. So every time we would talk about doing a distillery, we were always 18 months away from doing it. You know. So one day, you know, I I called up the people from Koval and I put a big deposit down on a still in Germany, and then <laughs> I called Richard and I told him he just bought himself a still. So. <laughs> oh my gosh! About six years. Six years. Yeah. And the name? So Iron Fish comes from a fish that swims up the Betsy River, which is just a quarter mile okay. out there. And there's a, a fish called the steelhead. Mm -hmm. It's and, a trout, right? Um, our connection is that if you think about the steelhead, it, it, it spawns in the river, yep. lays its eggs, and a little fish hatch. And then the little fish live in the river for about a year, and then they swim back to Lake Michigan, and they grow into these like, 7, 8, 10, 12 pound fish. Mm -hmm. And they always come back to the river of origin. So if they were yeah. born in the Betsy, they're going to come back to the Betsy and spawn. If you think about distilling, um, distilling started on the farms. Back, back mm -hmm. before Prohibition, every single farm had a still. Mm -hmm. And there's a great picture inside um, the tasting room door. It was taken in, um, just at, at the Cadillac Courthouse. And it's there's two really stern looking sheriffs, and between them is this big pile of five and ten gallon stills. Mm -hmm. And that happened at Prohibition when they went around to all the local farmers and took all their stills. Of course. Mm -hmm. So this is the wow. first farm based distillery in Michigan since Prohibition. Really? The first legal one. Yeah. Sure oh, gotcha. Like, gotcha. The yeah. first farm based distillery in Michigan. So we're bringing distilling back to its origin on the farm. Oh, nice. And just like the steelhead comes back to its river yeah. origin. And that's, oh, okay. that's, that's a cool connection. That's, that's yeah. the connection that yeah. we call the steelhead the iron fish. Yeah. And we like the connection too because Mike's uh, father is big, who was a fly, big fly yeah, fisherman. Sorry. So. Okay. Ride a bike or walk. Yeah. So, but you said, okay, so you went, you were inspired by um, scotch. So when you got your, your still, did you guys make still or scotch first? No, we made wheat whiskey first. Oh, okay. We made wheat whiskey because the, the initial distiller that we had was um, was working out in, in, on Bainbridge Island, mm. and uh, he was making wheat whiskey out there for a distillery, and so he, he was kind of that was what he was into. Yeah. And so we thought, well, we'll grow wheat and we'll make wheat whiskey, <laughs> and so that's what we started with. Okay. Um, so what was your plan? How how many barrels did you intend to make? Initially, you know, it, it was all so organic. That, <laughs> you know, it was like, you know, what can we make? We started out making rum and vodka. Yeah. Because we, you know, because you can make that. Yeah. yeah. You know? And so we made that, and then we got a gin. And um, as we as we as we go through here, I'll explain. You know, we we didn't have a brown spirit, but we know we needed one to survive because we put this brand new building up. Yeah. And so. So we, we've done finishing of, of MGPI products, so some of our whiskeys are there. Okay. And, and then um, we always had the, what we wanted is we wanted to have a bourbon and a rye whiskey that was at least four years old. So yeah. that was our goal. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and now we're hitting it. Yeah. So we've got the four year old wheat whiskey that's out and then later this month our four and a half year old rye is coming out and four and a half year old bourbon is coming out. Ah, uh, super. So, so we've been able to do that, and we wanted to do it in big barrels. Yeah. Now, will that be all your own um, yes. product? Cool. And so that's all ours. And so now we'll, we'll end up with two lines. We'll have our estate line, which is whiskey that's either been grown, you know, grain that's been grown on this field or very yeah. close to here that we've distilled and aged and bottled and everything. And we'll have a finishing product, and we keep them kind of separate. So the finish separate. is actually yours. The estate would be 
new GP, the estate would be ours. Yeah, you know, vice versa. All the yeah. Estates yeah. Are finished like the like a whiskey finished in, in maple syrup barrels or right. finished in cognac barrels. Or, right. Like a um, what's the place Bellmead. Which Bellmead. Yeah. yeah. Nelson's yeah. Nelson's doing it now. Yeah. yeah. Well, they've always done it, but now they've t t taken it back. Okay. Yeah. 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 But I love the grounds. Yeah. And so does the crowd. <laughs> Usually we go around and go through the sidewalk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well. Something from home. Short time, Brock. Oh, hello! We were just talking about you. No way! Yeah. It's so awesome! Are we going right? Yeah. I see stills. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Heart. So I'm assuming we're going for you. <laughs> yeah, but this is our, this is just our milk. And so okay. We bring, in, we bring in, we got three motors up here, and one brings corn, one brings rye, and one brings wheat in. Um, in here. Yeah. Oh, those are coming from the, uh, from the, the silos. The silos, yeah. So, your hammer mill. And that's a hammer mill. Yeah. yeah. So we grind it pretty much with flour. So everything's done on the drain here. And then close up that pipe and we'll blow it over to our man. Yeah. Uh, one day. <laughs> Yeah. We do a little bit of single malt, but usually we'll, we'll, we'll get that in super sats from the malting company. Okay. And um, when we're just making regular bourbon and stuff, most of it is anywhere from 5 to 60 percent. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. 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 And then this still is going to get sold um, because we have this one's Big Brother coming in. We have um, that's a 250 gallon still. We have a thousand gallon still coming in. We'll sell this one and then we'll use the thousand gallon still to make our whiskey. We're about to turn it I love these. How many, yeah, how many barrels do you do a day right now? We we can do about 220 barrels a year. A year. Uh -huh. A year. Okay. Yeah. Right. Because we're running one shift. Now, mm. If we went to two shifts, we could we could do more. Yeah. Um, with the new still, we should be able to do about 600 to 700 barrels running on, on probably a shift and a half. Okay. Um, That's so cool. Yeah. Right. Yeah. This this started out as such a small idea, and it's still not big, but you know now there's a lot of responsibility because we have 50 almost 50 people working. Yeah, that's okay. great. That's okay. awesome. Okay. Well, the branding is awful. It's cool. I mean, when we just randomly go to liquor stores and we're looking at stuff we don't already have, and we're like, let's try this thing, you know. And again, it appealed to us because of the connection with, you know, the fly fishing and the steelhead. Yeah. That's awesome. I mean, kudos for them. It really is. It's the whiskey. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's what it is. Little <laughs> I, look at, what are you doing? But these are all Two drinks. 500 gallon fermenters, and that's our typical batch. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that creates about a barrel on a quarter. I was going to say that's yeah, maybe a barrel or two. Yeah, yeah. Barrel or two. Uh, the new sill will be a thousand gallon, so instead of going with a thousand gallon fermenters, we'll be right to two thousand gallon fermenters. Um, and so that allows us to kind of mash in. Mm -hmm. Is I still going to be in this building? This is, this is all moving to the next building. Mm -hmm. All right. So mm. at, the end of, at the end of this year, all this stuff should be. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. And then you go to a place like the FBI, because they, they actually allowed us, how do you guys work? Lucky enough to get in there. And, uh, Thank you. The, the guy was in the chair with I mean, it's pretty good, though. <laughs> this is good. Mine's good too. Mm. Yeah, I like this, this maple. Yeah, this oh, maple is. I, I got the one day 1887, and I got the. Uh, Thank you, sir. Come on in. Salted caramel thingy. Thingy, my bob. <laughs> oh, this is another fun spot. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, this was our original, um, after that building, we, we filled it up, and then we had this building built as a storage facility for the new facility. So, we had architects that were made for the people, and they all have to have the seats to figure out how to do it. So, normally the barrels would be all the way out. Barrels would, we, this was, this was our, um, <clears throat> we had like, don't jack when we first started out. 
from the bottom line to the sun with a towel on a table. You put the bottle on the towel and you put the truck around and you turn the bottle over. Good for you. That's where, that's where it all started. Yeah. Our, um, our estate products, our, our, the rye that we're putting out and the bourbon that we're putting out, we're, we're trying to do a slow proof down. Yeah. So um, we've been proofing the bourbon down for the last two months. Well, we took it from, I think it started at about 120. Oh, and I like then took it down to 110. Uh, it's about about 100 right now. We're going down to 94. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going down to. Mm -hmm. um, we are now going actually into the barrels. That was, we were going to the barrels at 120 when we first started. We sense everything's going in at 110. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's the, the latest trend. Yeah. So are you think you'll dabble in bottled and bond sometime? <laughs> Will we, will we bottle them up? Yeah. We are going to take one of our whiskeys that's out right now as a wheat whiskey. Yeah. Um, and it will become a bottle and bond. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. Super. It's a whole yeah. lot of so extra have, work. Yeah, I'll show you the. Yeah. Um, we have this Mad Angler um, series. Oh, we just saw that in the gift shop. <laughs> so there's a the Mad Angler that's out right now is a wheat whiskey. Okay. Um, and it's like 51 percent wheat, and then mm -hmm. it's got corn, a little tiny bit of rye in it, mm. and it's some barley, and then. Um, Another wheat whiskey that we made at the same time was called Two Peninsulas, mm. which was rye from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan and the rest of the grains oh, came from cool. the Lower Michigan yeah. here. And that product, we haven't made a lot of it. We only make about eight to ten barrels a year. But that one's going to become a barrel and bond product. Oh, very we'll see cool. See how that how that goes. And you can only get it in the gift shop. <laughs> that one's good. That's good. We're on to your game. <laughs> a third of our barrels, and these come from Napa, California. Okay. Um, Segment Moreau, they do a lot of wine barrels, but they've started into spirit barrels now. So yeah, are these your finishing barrels? Or, or is it these, uh, these fresh is, barrels? These are our whiskeys. Oh, okay. yes. Yeah, these are, I like, guess, this is uh, Mad Angler whiskey that's in these. I, I got the, yeah, this is, uh, this is, uh, this is Iron Fist for the whiskey. Look at that, Black Swan, Cooper Age. October 21st. Yeah. Do you use different chars then? Do you char three, char two? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we, when we first started out, we had like five different chars. And we kind of started concentrating more on two and three. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Is he a char five? Yeah. And, then, and those, I love those barrels. And I can't get them anymore. The guy retired. Oh. <laughs> that was Cooperage. Um, yeah. So we made the decision though that about a, a third of our our whiskey is going to go into these because mm. we really like them. You really like them, them, yeah. But so you can't get these now. So have you said these? I can, these oh. I can get. I can't get oh, the yeah. top oh. one. The top one, char five one. Yeah, it was it was a uh, Hoffmeister was the guy's name. Oh. And so a Hoffmeister barrel, I think, is what HB stands for. And he went out of business, but Segment Merol is still in business. Yeah. We so we get barrels from them like every quarter. Yeah. Barrels. Oh. We do have nothing wrong with that. And this is a little baby one. I'm not sure where we got this. I I, I think it's the same place, but yeah. We, a lot of the times now we use these small ones for things like bitters or eight yeah. bitters. On them. Oh yeah. But you had a lot of products in a very short period of time. Yes, you did. Yeah. We, I mean, there's yeah. a lot out there on your. I mean, for real. I mean. <laughs> So what does what does our, what does our local northern Indiana liquor stores need to do to get more iron fish in our area? I don't know. I, 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 that's that's the like Richard side of the business. Yeah, he, we got to get sales, bring Richard. We got to ask area. him. <laughs> you know, I, I'm in yeah. production of facilities. Yeah. And mm -hmm. Product development, yeah. and I try to let the sales part. That's right. You know? We're just trying to help you out. No, I no, I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. it's just he's he's definitely looking at it. Yeah. Uh, we're in Wisconsin. Okay. We're a little bit in Illinois. Yeah. A lot in Indiana. I don't know well, I don't, again, we got it. We are Niles, Michigan. We just right, right across state line. State line. So. Maybe there's maybe it's a, maybe yeah. there's some different things that you need to. Do maybe. Who knows? Yeah. We're pretty we're pretty spoiled. I feel like in Indiana though, because we do get there's a lot. Murder, yeah. Where we yeah. Are, we, we get a lot of different first runs. It's like surprisingly. Yeah. Yeah. So. We get quite a bit. So we're not we're pretty spoiled. Make sure it's not raining out here. Oh yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Yes. The, exactly. Oh, you are. On the roof there and stuff. Look at you go. Oh, wait. Right. The bee. Go, go, go. Oh, oh, I love that smell. 
This is a mix of um, mostly finishing vegetables. So all those are barrels that used to have maple syrup in them, now they have bourbon in them, and they're just, they're just you know, sitting there um, okay. developing. So they started with maple syrup? So they start with bourbon. Okay. At, okay. at some point, they have a fresh bourbon barrel. Yeah. And then, and then we put maple syrup in it for three or four months. Okay. And then we take the maple syrup out and we bottle it. Um, and then we put bourbon back in that barrel. Okay, oh. very yeah. nice. And then after that, that's kind of a one-time deal, and then the barrels get sold. Um, yeah. A lot of breweries like the barrels. Yeah, that, that for maple bourbon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that probably that too, for their beer. I wonder if the point where yeah, maple people syrup. can't like flavor it anymore. Yeah, they turn sure. into yeah. cheers. And a lot of these just have maple syrup in them. And if you if, if you really quiet in here. Yeah, I can hear it. Hear the bees? Yeah. I, oh, yeah. I, yeah. They, 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 they go after these barrels here. Yeah. So by the end of by the end of summer, there's a lot of bees in here, and you can't leave these doors open. Or they, yeah. it, it's crazy. Oh. Wow. Like yeah. <laughs> but these barrels are from anywhere from like uh, Barbados uh, for our rum barrels. Okay. Uh, Spain, we get our PX sherry barrels. Um, oh, nice. Uh, cognac barrels from France, mezcal barrels from Mexico. Yes. So we do all those different finishes, yeah. and it's kind of gotten away. From with, I've got, you know, it's like, I, I just enjoy kind of trying these different flavors and stuff. And I have a couple barrel brokers yeah. I work with. And so I'll see, oh God, there's that. Let's just, let's just try it with these whiskeys and see. Yeah. Sure. So there'll be a few one-offs that we do. Um, but mostly it's, mostly it's the maple bourbon that's, that's been consistent, you know, yeah. that people really like it. And yeah, yeah so it's been yeah. Yeah. super fun. Yeah. Right? Yep. And that, that made a very good old fashioned. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, you picked that up. That. <laughs> I like it. I'm paying attention, Dave. <laughs> oh, smell that. Yeah, this will hold about 2,500 barrels, so we're not quite there yet. Everybody can look at smell in your video. Oh, I know. <laughs> Our whiskey that's aging in here and whiskey that we purchased from MGPI that hasn't been used yet, so it's aging, getting some age on it. And um, so, because sometimes we'll buy brand new make from MGPI yeah. if, it's, if it's available, it's been really almost impossible to get it. Oh, yeah. Wondering. Somebody bought it all up. Like somebody bought like thirty thousand barrels at a time oh, wow. out of oh. all their production. Yeah. This will all move out of here as um, these projects go on. That's a <laughs> bar that I bought out of an old pub. Oh, and it, that's gonna that's gonna be the bar that's gonna go up in the new spooky. Oh, fun! Yeah. It's all this old, old um, marble, 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 tape, marble, marble countertops. So <laughs> nice, uh, and uh, that that will all be gone by the end of mm. spring. Can I get in here? So yes. you probably have seven, eight thousand barrels on hand. I don't think that many. Maybe no. maybe closing in on three. Really? Oh, okay. okay. And it's interesting because at, have you guys ever been down to? Did I ask you this new riff? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's one of our favorite ones. Yeah, so we, we, we went down, Heidi and I went down to New Riff uh, a few months back, and yeah. they, they spent a whole day with us to oh, just like all kinds of stuff. Their yeah. barrel program, they were so gracious. Yeah. And they started about the same time we did. Yeah. Like maybe a year before we did, but instead of putting in a pot still, they were, they were, put, they put that column still. Oh, yeah, that big one, yeah. Still. And so instead of being able to make 200 barrels a year like we could make right now with our equipment, they can make they were making 8,000 barrels a year. I mean, 200 a, right. a, a year for us, yeah. 8,000 for them. And then they added three more fermenters. And now they can do 12,000 barrels wow. a year yeah, because they're using that really, that, that really nice column stone. Mm -hmm. And they make some really nice juice. They do. Yeah, like their single them. barrel is really yeah. good. Yeah, I really like their yeah. stuff. I like, yeah. their, I like their rye too. Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. I've, I've got a couple of bottles. Funny thing, I was down there at New Riff and um, I have a, a good friend of mine who's a, a classmate in veterinary school, and she lives in Cincinnati. She, so she mm. practices in Cincinnati, and and her partner Sue. And so I walk into the bottling area, and there's Karen and Sue. Yeah. <laughs> they, so on, on on off days they'll go in there and they'll bottle. You know, oh really? For a new that would be so much and fun. At the end of the day, they get paid a certain amount, and they get a bottle of whiskey. Oh, yeah. Nice. I keep trying to get my husband to get a job at the local liquor store. I'm like, they keep saying help wanted. I'm like, honey, it's right up your alley. Yeah. You know, let's see the bills. Yeah, we like New Riff a lot. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, we just with, with something to get a, well, get a bung out of a yeah. yep. barrel. Yeah. That is what saved the captain of the Titanic, right? Yeah. Or the bartender of the Titanic. <laughs> yeah, the bartender. Okay, taste a little bit? Oh yes, of course. If you can twist our arms. Uh-huh. Let me check your arm. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Oh. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm ready. <laughs> Sorry. Try to take the bee with us. So this was all your farm field that you that you. This was all rye. We just harvested. Okay. Yeah. And then across the road was um, wheat, and then we have two more fields on the other side, which is all rye. So do you do you plant and grow that yourself, or you have somebody do that? For you? So Elvin now he's our. So Elvin came around the year after we started this, and he just started talking to me, and he uh, he's a. I was going to say Elvin and the chipmunks. <laughs> El- Elvin is a, as he describes himself, he's a lapsed Amish Canadian farmer. <laughs> oh, okay. So he bought some land here, and so he he now um, farms about 500 acres, I think. And he does all everything organic. And then he came here and he said, if you guys want to go organic, he goes, I'll get you guys to be organic. Mm. And then he and he and I said, well, you know, can you do our farming? Because I I didn't want to own. Right combines and yeah all right. that stuff yeah. and, and he owns all that stuff so yeah we michigan state has a like a, a price list of like if you plow a field this is how much you charge per acre if, and this is oh, how much yeah. for harvesting and we just agreed that whatever michigan state's hmm. saying you know we'll pay you to do that yeah and so he does all of all the oh, work great. now so you don't have to worry about the research on that it's just here it is well, he just takes care of it yeah, and, yeah. Care yeah. Of it. And, we're, and we're pretty you know we're always talking about it and when to harvest and, and i've learned so much yeah you know, sure about farming and how it is not for the faint of heart no but you can't have it leaking all over yeah that's I, for sure there was one winter we had a big trailer full of barrels out here like on this pad and um it was like january and i was trying to swell them all up so i'd go out every day and you know fill them all with water and then they'd leak and then there'd be icicles hanging oh, off uh, oh, no. <laughs> might be a special whiskey though yeah, it might, be. might be an ice whiskey yeah. Yeah. bourbon bourbon yeah. 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 Let's see, these are from a couple of vodkas. Yeah, okay. All right. So this is a wheat vodka. And this is probably what you started with. Yeah, and we and we just we distill this um, just at 190, and we don't filter it. Um, just 190, no, by the way. No, no charcoal. Well, that's, that's vodka, though. Yeah. Yeah. It has to go there right. at least. Yeah. And uh, but we want it there to be a wheat flavor to it mm. um, just like if we have um, we do have a rye vodka too oh, yeah and so when we enter this yeah. in contest it's not entered in a neutral oh. contest because it's not neutral <laughs> yeah because yeah, it's I definitely know. got a wheat flavor to it yeah sure oh that's that's actually that's pretty good yeah Dude, I, yeah. I gotta pinch myself <laughs> there's a lot. But it burn, well, like, we got nothing else to do today. Come yeah, on. Right. Yeah, right. You start, you start with an 80, 80 proof and we move right. our way up. This is, yeah, yeah, this is nice and smooth. Yeah, it's really. smooth that is good. It's, I, I almost like the mouth feel on it. It's kind of oh, creamy. Yeah. Yeah. Cream. For hand cleaner, cleaner. that's good. For hand cleaner. Yeah, good. Yeah, that's, uh, I would I buy like that. that, yeah. And I'm not a vodka drinker, but I'd like that. Yeah, I'm not a vodka You know, I really love our gin. But I hardly ever drink it. Except oh. there, there's one cocktail that's called the Wiley E Coyote, and it and it's a, it's got um, jalapeno syrup. Oh, my oh that's a beer mint, alley. Mint and uh, cilantro in it. Mm. And, oh, oh, it's definitely up your alley. And lime juice, and it yeah. is the most refreshing cocktail nice. this summer. Oh, and I like some kind of um, vodka for like in the summer. This is yeah. Like a, Something different and lighter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Vodka, soda, vodka. Okay, so I'll try some of the gin now that I've done the vodka. <laughs> All right. Since I want to be, you went down that path. I want to be thorough, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not a big gin. I'm not a big gin guy, but. Why did you? Uh, but hey, you know what? I'm here. We're doing it. That's right. It's right. It's it's been super well received. Wow, that's yeah. very citrusy. It is. Yeah. Yeah. And and that citrus almost all comes from that those Christmas trees that are out there. Oh, really? That okay. kind of colored fir tree, yeah. super citrusy. Yeah. There was a, when we were making this gin, um, I, I was like trying to figure out a, a, a recipe for it. You know? So I had 20 different botanicals. And the way we were doing it is we had this little five gallon yeah, still. That. And so I, I measure out the botanicals that I thought I wanted to put in there with the amounts mm. I thought we wanted in there. Yeah. I put it in a, a bucket, a seamless mm. bucket, Yeah. overnight. 
And then the next day I'd come in and I'd distill one on that still and at the end of the day I'd have five gallons of gin in it. <laughs> and I did that time after time, yeah, like 15 sure. times, you know, yeah. I'm thinking there's no way I'm ever going to find a gin I really like. And I said, you know what though, I'm going to, I'm going to make a single botanical gin out of all these 20. And so I made a juniper gin, I made a lavender gin, I made a cardamom gin. And then I got our team together yeah. and we started blending. And, and so blended now it. we can, now we can, you know, however much our liver would allow us to, yeah. right. we, could, we could taste 40 in a day. Right. You know, and we started to hone in on it. And, yeah, it um, sounds like your typical gin. Yeah. Good. And then during that process, there was this guy who walks into my into the tasting room, and you got to envision this guy. He's like about six foot five. He's like looks like a lineman. He's got this huge black beard. His name is Blake. And he's got this big deep voice, and he and he comes in there with this That's essentially like a do. part of a tree in his hand, huh. and he go and he was really interested in our gin. Yeah. Huh. And in in our process of making gin, and he looks at me and he goes, Dave. You gotta use this in your gin. <laughs> and I'm looking up at this guy and I'm going, Yeah, I'll try that, Blake. <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs> and and that's a big part of this gin. It's and that's where that suit just comes from. It turns out that Blake owned a tree farm. Okay. Oh, and every time he walked through that part of his tree farm, um, he got and pruned it and this really citrusy yeah. flavor. Yeah. And so um, the deal is now that I can go to Blake's tree farm and get as many clippings as I want and then he gets gin for life. Oh, nice. good for Blake. That's, that's yeah. a deal. <laughs> oh, it's right now. You know what? That's uh, right. yeah, it's all right here. Yep. Yeah, that's, uh, I gotta, I gotta that's say, that's I like that. Very, yeah, yeah. It is. I it's like very the gender when I drink yeah. vodka. What do sure. you get like on the sides of your tongue when you're just at, okay. after your at, your that little aftertaste? So for me, it's almost a little mint, kind of. Um, spearmint almost. Hey, hey, hey. Citrus a little bit. Hey, licorice. Yeah, licorice. Oh yeah, there is black a touch. Of, there is a touch of licorice. Black yeah, black licorice. Some people get a little black pepper, a little mint. Um, mm. I always get <clears throat> black. Pepper. I definitely get the mint, the mint, and the black. Yeah, the black licorice. Yeah. And the pepper. Now that you say that, yeah. yeah. But it's not your typical gin, like usually. No, gin that's good. Strong, yeah, that's that's juniper. that's pretty good. Yeah, it's it's, it's that American style wow. where we downplay the juniper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not that strong. Yeah. Maybe that's what it is, you know. Yeah, and that's because 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 I'm not a big like, juniper fan. Yeah. That's one of the reasons uh, I don't like gin. So I'm like, just try it. <laughs> yeah. I can't get past usually gin, the pine needles taste. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's, yeah. Very that's what a lot of people. Well, yeah, you think of that London Dry, which is super piney. Yeah. I don't pine needles. So, but I, I think that's. But again, that's most, really good. Yeah. Most of the time, you don't drink. You know, you don't drink it like that. You drink it in a cup. Yeah, you, yeah. right. Sure. Like right a bit. Yeah, you yep. need to taste it. I did. You need to taste it again. Mmm. <laughs> Got a whole mouth just drinking water. Taste the mint, and the black licorice. There's the anise. Yeah. There's. <laughs> there's the citrus note. Yeah, I got the citrus note. I get an orange note. Yeah, definitely no, a strong orange note. It's got a buttery mouthfeel. I like that part of it. Yeah, I do like that too. And there's a little bit of tannin in there, but. What about the pine? Do you yeah, think pine? Oh, yeah, 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 the pine. I mean, the pine's pretty strong, right? Well, I mean, but I do yeah, like that. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of. But I mean, I, I would drink that. In a cocktail or something. Oh, I definitely drink in a cocktail. But Which one is the one you said that has the jalapeno and the... That's what I thought this one. That's why I didn't take it, because I don't like the jalapeno. Yeah, that sounds good. It's so good. Wiley E. Coyote. You had to look for it. Yeah, think of the cartoon. I yeah. saw that. <laughs> I would drink it. Yeah. It was it was a cocktail that was developed by one of our first bartenders, and, wow. and so he got the name of because he developed it. Oh, good for him. Oh, nice, yeah. yeah. I guess we'll have to put that one on our list. We, okay. had, we had a bet, like, how many bottles we'll be walking out of here with. <laughs> I said, we'll probably go home with at least four. We're like, it he comes out of the gift shop initially before we even start, and he's like, it's going to be a lot. I'm like, yeah, no, we're six plus. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you have to go back to work Monday. I'm yeah. like, okay. <laughs> How about if we start with that maple? That's it, you know, okay. it's, it's a, it's an '86 proof, um, so it's, it's most of the other ones are going to be in the mid '90s. Um, I, I, I call this whiskey soft. Okay. You know? It's '86, and, <laughs> and it's like, it, it's got that hint of maple. Yeah. You have to kind of think about it. It's not like in your face. Yeah. Um, and then because of the, it's maple sure. syrup. It's for, I'm going to be charged of driving. Yeah. And if you, if yeah. you don't need to drink all that. I yeah. Can't think of it, well, which this is totally fine. This, this will be fine too. 
Oh, I'll go with some of them. I'm yeah. not going to. That's right. We're not driving. <laughs> These are the passengers. I'm not driving. <laughs> we'll take a little nap in the car. Oh, you got, you got that. Okay. You can have some with us. I need a little bit. There you go. See? So, um, I like it when the owner takes with us. <laughs> I like the invitation. I'll tell you, it, that's hotter than an 86. So, that is not Give a, a little that's not a, yeah, I mean, What was the gin? 80? 80 oh, it's smooth. 90. 90 is 90. It's smooth. That's good. Oh yeah, that is. That's very. It's very smooth. That's that is, and that's good for. But it's kind of it's clean. Yeah, it and just I mean, goes away. It's, it's a like great a one for yeah. intro bourbon drinkers yeah. too, to, who want to try to drink it neat. And I and I but think I that's why it's so popular. Maybe. Because you get a lot of people who come through here and not really. You know, I don't know how many people. I'm not well, a bourbon drinker. Right. Burn, right. But but this one, it, and I think it's because <clears throat> of that little bit of sweetness. Right? Yeah. I don't, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. Anytime you put sweet in this, it just it makes it I, what I call soft. It makes sure. it so much easier. Right. Yeah. But the bourbon. Yeah, but, that's but that, for that 86. I mean, usually 86 to me is usually kind of like weird, but that's really good. Really so you got how long do you finish it? Mm -hmm. the, so. The the bourbon's in there anywhere from six to twelve months <laughs> in the um, in the barrel that had maple syrup. Yeah. So this whiskey is probably just under four years old totally. Okay. Yeah. Totally. Okay. Is this your it goes in there extra two and a half to three years of age. Maybe. Good. You want, no you want, yeah, you want the more? I don't want again. I'm trying. So is this one that you distill? No. So if if it's if it's in a bottle like that, okay. it's a finished product. Okay. And it's gonna say bourbon right. whiskey finished mm -hmm. in. I don't want to tell You can't just call it bourbon whiskey yeah. and then say it was finished in barrels. It's got to be finished in. Yeah. Right. And, um, so, the, the, so we have a, a <laughs> quite a few different finishes. Okay. Cognac finish, a yeah, we finish yeah. And, and all those different different ones. Um, the the bottles that are that style bottle are the ones that we make. Yeah. So oh, these okay. are yours. These yeah. are finished. Okay. Yes. Yep. Okay. That is it. Yeah, this is what yes. Let's try that one. So it's, it was serving these finished whiskeys first. So this is an, at 94 proof. And this is a combination of four oh. different finishes. So a blended after the fact. So they're so they're 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 finished in separate barrels. And then, and then, you then they blend them and then they put back in a barrel for another three. Oh, months okay. To let them yeah. vary a little bit. So they're so. blended, then they're finished. Yeah. Again. Yes. Nice. Yeah. Sounds like a lot of work, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got to take this off. This is not going to work. Definitely has a lot of different colors <laughs> than the other one, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Usually, pick up the color too. Usually, pick up the cognac. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. I'm not even sure I even had cognac, so I so I have that. I just kind of go. Well, I'm not so, sure. Yeah. Four cans. Well, we can fix that at my house. Oh, okay, you got cognac. I do. Hmm. Yeah, so that one is not as flavorful to me as the other one, but that could be because of the low. Really? I think it's as good. It's, I think it's my COVID. Right. Because yeah. the lower ones are a little bit more like. Mm. Yeah, I know. I like this one. This is good. But you eat your own, right? Oh my. Whew. This is my favorite of the finished list. Okay. I can see. I can see why. Can you tell yeah. me again? Four cask. Four cask, and it's um, it's got maple finished. It's got rum finished. Barrels from Barbados, um, sherry finish, barrels from Spain, and um, cognac barrels from yeah. France. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. You can tell the color. It's like the color. Yeah, this is. Yeah. I've always enjoyed this one, but I, again, I'm, I get so excited about our new stuff coming out. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. And, so, and then we, we do have like a couple of barrels that just around here somewhere that people won't tell me where they are. Yeah. You know, I'll pop in. Or, yeah. Like some single malt that we've done. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And we're going to start doing more single malt. Yeah, how, you've got four finishes, but you finish them in the same, same number of, same time in each one of those barrels? Or do you have a graduated? No, because they're blended. blended. He just said they're blended. Oh, blended. Yeah. They're, blended. blended. Oh. they're blended, then they're put back in a barrel, finished yeah. again. Okay. And then, <clears> usually <throat> with like the cognac, the PX sherry, and the rum, we're finishing those barrels at least in time, mm -hmm. not long. Whereas the maple, we find that we, you know, we finish six, eight, nine months for yeah. that's where we have that flavor profile yeah. that we're looking for. Right? Nice. Um, we're going to have some older because we we, we put a, a, a lot of it away, and so eventually we're going to have some of that maple that's going to be five or six years old. And you'll be in those maple barrels in a long time. So we'll see. We, we don't know what yeah. happens. You know, we'll just 
be a pleasant surprise. Wow. So are we doing forecast as well? Did you get your I did. 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 Okay, so that one's in the lead for me. Okay, I like that. So, and, and, and we can taste anything you guys want. Yeah. I, I brought out these, but I just thought you should taste these. We definitely we want to try your yeah. estate. Yeah. So this is this is our man angler. This is a, um, a four grain whiskey. It's a wheat whiskey. It's 51% um, 51% uh, wheat. And I'm forgetting the exact things, but it's about 26% corn. And the rest is made up of barley and a yeah. uh, tiny bit of rye. Mm -hmm. Not very much rye yeah. in this. And uh, so, this, so this is your favorite, right? So this of, of the whiskeys that we make, yeah, that have been released. Mm -hmm. But I really like. The I did run through already. Oh, I drank a lot of bourbon that's coming. I'm trying to figure yeah, out my first rodeo. I'm trying to figure out where our bourbon is, but I I think it's now in one of those big tanks because they, <laughs> they've now taken all the barrels that they've slow proofed down and yeah. they've, they've got it down to about a hundred, and that's all in one tank. Uh, so I'm not and mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not privy to the information. Okay, you're on a need to know basis. They know right? I break into it. Yeah. <laughs> After a long day. Yeah. Mm, it smells good. It's so boring. I don't know. <laughs> so, a lot more, usually a lot more. Really nice and dark. A lot more. Well, this has a nice nose to it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. This yeah, this has a really nice nose to it. Yeah, Mad Angler. Mm. Um, we, we originally were going to name it a wheat whiskey, and now it's going to be just a wheat whiskey. So, so we'll have a four grain and a bourbon and a rye that are all under the Mad Angler label. <coughs> so, uh, that's awesome. So Mad Angler, how, how did that name come about? So, so Mad Angler, this is, this is, this is a, this guy out there and his, his name wow. is Michael Dell and he is a poet. Pretty well known oh, poet. Of, yeah. And um, he wrote what's called the uh, Mad Angler <coughs> and, oh, because okay. he's all about fishing. That's sick, and, yeah. and he's really concerned about the water system. And he's, he's, and my dad and uncle, yeah. he's mad. He's angry because people don't treat the water systems right, which is what we're all about. Yeah, is, our, is the water up here. So, so Michael Delp, um, he wrote this, and this is, this is like, you know, I'm just like weird saying, you know, consider holding the wildness of the place in your hand, and then tossing it back, dreaming of rivers, wild fish, pure water, the spirit that's inside you, allowed to roam our fishes. <laughs> and he wrote, he just wrote this big, huge poem and stuff. And so Michael Dell is in this area here. And so he has, you know, allowed us to um, use the man angler. So, that's that's cool. Oh, okay. I love, this is, the, these are the stories we love. Yeah, that's yeah. why I asked. Right. Yeah, like it's There's great. a story, right? So yeah. I love the story. Anyway, yeah. Then, uh, and so I love that all this, this, this is great. I mean, Mad farmer, mad angler. You might have, you might have, you might have the artist up there. Farmer. The mad veterinarian. You got to be still a mad veterinarian. The mad distiller. Oh, you wanted something. Have you seen the um, documentary Meat? Oh, yeah. Hey, Heidi. You know what I mean? This is Heidi, if you haven't met her, this is my wife. Right She's the light. Hi there. Yeah. You keep him in line. He talks all about that. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> Pretty equal kind of thing. Yeah, how exciting for you guys! Everybody has their stuff. Yeah. So I was going to get you guys some of the um, smaller to go. Oh, oh, great, great. Yeah. Okay. You want me to get a mix? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's what I'll do. Nice so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So this is the uh, two peninsula. So this is a wheat whiskey also, but it's a lot higher in rye. So it's, well, there you go, uh, Nina. Right up your alley. It's, oh, it's a bit, it's a bit spicier, a bit peppier, pepper for your. Is that a word? <laughs> pepper, yeah, it is. It is now. More, more pepper, peppery. More peppery. <laughs> Let's try more peppery. <clears throat> Spicy like me. Mm. That's what I like to say. Spicy like Nina. Awesome. Sounds good. Let's do the smell. Oh, good smell. I can really smell that rye. Definitely smell the rye. Oh yeah. Sorry. <clears throat> I didn't. Hey, I didn't try it yet. Oh you did. This one. first. I was just smelling it. But that one's got a little more. I feel like it's got a little more alcoholy. But maybe it's just that cut my nose in too much. Sure. Yeah. I like it. Got the legs too. Woohoo! <coughs> to me, it's again my palate. It's more grass. <coughs> I like it. Really for me. Yeah. Yeah, it's grassy. But that's just how we are with rye. We're not huge. You and I aren't huge. That's rye content. Yeah. It's not peppery spice, right? Yeah. 
there's the there's the finish, right? I always find this one to be just less dimensional. Yeah. You know, I, I, I like the dimensions of the planning mm -hmm. look better. I like that. There's different edges there. Yeah, it's good, but it's good. Um, so definitely yeah, given between the two, I probably would lean more towards the matte angle yeah. for my for my taste. I think I still like the pork mask. Mm -hmm. and Which I'm not gonna lie, I really wanted to like this one more <laughs> just because of the name. Right. We'll be back. <laughs> we promise we'll be back. I get those. Yeah. It's, it's really sweet. It's not a little sweet. Yeah. That's, that is the problem. Ooh. That's an interesting one. <laughs> Maple sap spirit. Maple sap? Not, not. Oh, so you didn't, they didn't make syrup out of it. It was just <laughs> a pure, it's out of the bucket off the tree. Sap. Concentrate. Uh, we have, we have to get the bricks out. So we, we concentrate it up to, mm -hmm. I, actually, now I, I think I said 40 bricks. We concentrated <coughs> up to about 21 bricks. Okay. So we, they, they, you know, heat it up enough to get some caramelization, and then we put it into a fermenter and ferment yeah. it, and then we once it's fermented, and then the still we just put the barrel. What does it mean? generous because it hasn't completely crystallized into the caramel or forward hmm. formed crystals that then gets caramelized because of the heat process. <coughs> so you pick up a whole bunch of wood. Maybe you can smell it. Um, you haven't tried the salt. Yeah. I, I will have to tell you, I'm not a picture. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? To ease your own. You can't like everything, right? No. You want to be not, genuine, not to too, right? Not to influence you at all. But. Do you have any of the Moscow? The Moscow? The Moscow. The, the finish in the Moscow barrels? No. I don't know the what the tequila is. The tequila one? What's that called? Oh, Mezcal. 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 Yeah. Mezcal. Yeah. That's my yep. thick Hoosier accent. Mm -hmm. Of course. Yeah, I can. We can bring some up. Mezcal. I mean, I just started drinking. Wow, that's different. Yeah. It's really different. Yeah. yeah. Different. Good. Like different. Part, okay. You don't say anything. The alcohol is going to hit you first, and then that note right after is going to be. And I'm not going to tell you, but you should pick it out after. But that's different. Wow. Wait a minute, I gotta do that again. <laughs> wow. do this. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Dave? Oh, I'll get Nina. Nina's that gonna notice. Do it. Yeah. We're gonna have Nina pull on the sample. <laughs> there, there you go. Just drop that down in there. Okay. So you hear a gurgle? Oh, look at her. Now she's working for a distillery. <laughs> a lot different than Notre Dame, huh? Yep. yep. <laughs> no. It's more fun. <laughs> Can't take it all, Nina. Just what you need. That's oh, it's tough. clear or uh, light. Yeah, yeah, it's very light. It's been in there almost a couple of years now. Oh wow! It's a used barrel. Okay. 2018. Oh, okay. If that's right. Yeah. That, well. Did it this enough? Yeah. It's, this is more than one year. So. Oh wow. Weird, because it doesn't make much when you do oh, it. Uh, so we've added like a couple of years mm. together in there. Um, for it. And, and I have no idea the proof. Oh wow. I have no idea the proof. Like it's sweet? Pretty high. <laughs> it's, it's high, but it, I mean, it's still smooth though. It's really, it doesn't burn. Man, I smell your gin. I saw, I saw. That's what I smell is your gin. I mean, I can say a little citrusy smell ah. to it, but it doesn't taste like that. I can tell you that. Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> It's not going to be a highly produced product. Yeah, well, but it's, yeah. You know, it's into different. You'll be able to your experiment. Hear it some point yeah. Out of your oh, that's an after dinner. Let me see. That is after. That is that is so much an after dinner. That's an after distillery. Um, I, you know, for a craft distillery, I really like um, Garrison Brothers. Oh, mm. oh yeah, uh, it's it's made in. Ooh, that's some that's sense. some heat. Yeah. yeah. They, yeah. They, uh, they it's not too sweet to me. For three years, it's done in these, it? this size barrel, actually from that company, Black Swan Barrel. Okay. And they do it in that Texas heat. For three years. <clears throat> nice. Um, it's a, it's a it's a nice whiskey. No, that hasn't been That's proofed hot. down yet, right? Hot? No. So it's just entry. Yeah, yeah I have no idea. Entry proof. I don't think it's that whatever. sweet though. Do you? That's probably it's more hot? like one. It's like more of a tequila. Yeah. 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 You you get. I was just about to put water in it, but. I like the newer one that you want to see too. Man, that's got, that's got really nice. good flavor. Yeah, I know. Um, I mean, that's got really good flavor. Have you tried the, um, 
Dave You're going to be driving. Us. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> trying to say. No, we're going to go. No, that was interesting. That was a very interesting. After dinner, it needs to be proofed down, but it's that's a unique product. Sap. Maple sap. Oh wait, maybe we're not supposed to say that. Yeah, we're not supposed to say that. Maybe not. We're not, we're not supposed to say that. Strike that. No. No. no this is our old fashioned. Um, okay. So I'll put maple oh. old fashioned. That's actually bottled. You guys probably had one that was mixed at the bar. Right. So this is the one that's actually going out and being so and it's aged. And it's so we, we make it um, and then we put it back in a barrel and let it let it sit there for sometimes it's a month, sometimes it's six months. Okay. And then we rebottle it. Ooh, okay. And we'll do the same thing with the Manhattan that we're gonna oh, bottle it. Okay. Right back. Cool, very cool. I'm gonna try it. Wait, wait, wait. He left. So Dave left us. Dave, Dave left us. Dave left us. To Unsupervised. Talk to yourself. I don't think he really meant that. He did not. No. So we'll behave ourselves. All right. Yeah, this is sweet. Yeah, I like those pours. Those are great because I mean they have a little ball in it, so that way he stops. Cheers. 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 How cool! I mean, this is a. I mean, this yeah, is cool. This is, good. This is a this cool is tour. Really good. Yeah, this. I mean, I mean, this, everything's great with the story and. I like this place. Yeah. I like this place a it's lot. Like maple yeah. syrup. Yep. What is this one? Maple syrup. Yeah, that's the maple syrup old fashioned. Is that the one I bought yesterday? Already mixed. I don't have to do it. Just add over ice. Yep. With the luck startle, mm -hmm. Jerry. Is that the one I bought yesterday? Maple syrup. Yeah. He found something. Oh my gosh. First, first time I ever ordered any barrels from Mexico, and these, these mezcal barrels showed up, and I swear they had like two gallons of mezcal in the bottle. <laughs> so we just we just poured it all out and filtered it, and yeah. we had all this really no, great. Sure. Don likes the mezcal. I just I it's, gotta do it in, I, in short I, I first. Do, I so. like a good mezcal. Like I like mezcal 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 yeah. instead yeah. of like a tequila. Yes, right. With it's, a lot, it's a lot different. And a little bit right. of <clears throat> Different. So, sure. Did, did you see that? This is no, super sweet, though. This maple, this. Uh, okay. mm -hmm. oh, and, it, and it's made wow. okay, to be okay, put on ice. Yeah. And then you get the dilution. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So and just grab and go, pour yeah. over ice. Yeah. yeah. So what bourbon do you use? That, that you is, finish this with. That's a. That's the high rye. High rye. The high rye. High okay. rye bourbon. Yeah. Does it smell smoky at all to you? Oh yeah, I can taste the rye now. Yeah, at the end there. there so, some of the mess yeah. all you get is super smoky and some yeah. of it is hardly okay. smoky at all, okay. but they all has that little bit of agave. Yeah, that's yeah. The agave yeah. fruit that you get. Because that's of what it. it is, right? I mean, it's just right. agave that's... Right, that's good. That's, yeah, so I don't say to that's not really toasted, but I mean, they, it's a I process like that, that takes take a little further than what they do with the agave. Yeah, yeah. They, they actually like I can, um, yeah. roast the okay. pinas, okay. Right. the agave pinas, underground traditionally. Okay. And then they okay, I got three of these in my hand, so I'm having a problem here. <laughs> well, yeah. You're just falling behind. Well, that. Let me, oh, you're, that's you're that's right? really good. I that's, like that. I mean, that's so that does delicious. not taste. Yes. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's not I peaty. It's not peaty at all. Shoulder and shoulder with the four casts. I like the four casts. I gotta tell you, all these finishes were meant to be. But I taste root beer. It's just yeah. subtle. Yeah. It's really subtle. Yeah. Subtle root beer. Like, do you taste root beer? Yeah, yeah. Power suggestion. Yep. But <laughs> tell me, tell me, it tastes like mezcal. It doesn't. To, not no. to me, because I don't like mezcal. You don't like you I don't like. I like tequila, but I don't like peated. And all of the mez, me, well, the one that you gave me mm -hmm. that we bought the I bottle of is peated. peated. Mm, so well, they peated finish it with. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're smoked. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. They're smoked. Because right. they're, they're they're roasted in a pit with mm -hmm. wood. Right. So they, that's where they get that smokiness I get, from. I get, yeah. I sure. get zero typical traditional mezcal taste of that. Yeah, so. yeah that just is really, but it is, that's it, really it good. It is very close to like that's a four, good. That's a good cast. flavor profile. Oh, yeah. I'm back to the sweet one. Great. What I'll just hold it. I'll just hold it. I'll just hold it. I'll just hold it. But we I'll, had it like... I like, I like this one. I really, I really do. Yeah. yeah. Did that surprise yeah. you? A little bit. I mean, it's it was not what... I mean, because I really like the... The forecast, and mm -hmm. really, that was kind of where I was going. Yeah. But this one right here might okay. yeah. nudge it out I just a little bit. I, I can't get. I, I just like that forecast. We need to talk to Richard. Is he around? <laughs> so we got to figure out: is the forecast coming denials, 
or if Mezcal. I feel like Mezcal might be the purchase you need to take. I mean, I'm telling you, you have more that chance one of getting really a forecast. Good. I like it. <laughs> I can see that in later my time. He was at something, but I don't know <clears> what. But I just don't know what's going on. Here. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we'll definitely keep our eyes open. That's for sure. So I mean. Yep. We'll just come up here and buy the bottles. Maybe. Well, we can do that, <laughs> too. It's, it's a little drive. Big deal, right? So I do have the, these bottles you guys take with you. There, there's a... <laughs> oh, you're hooked us up with some cute ones. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, they're so adorable. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> they will end up in the studio photograph. Oh, my and gosh. Then we'll drink them. And if, and if you guys, you know, if we if we go back up front and there's something else like in the bin you want to taste it, okay, he'll taste Joe. Yeah, okay. whatever you want. Okay. Oh, so you can. Oh, sorry, ones, baby. Like the, well, yeah, that's so fun. I love it. I'm gonna buy some bottles for me to take home. Well, for sure. Yeah, we've had it. We've had a really. This has been great. I mean, we really. I mean, again, we, we're kind of like the next day. We're beyond novice at this point. We just yeah, put the corn in, the distiller comes out, yeah, high wine, da da da. You know, yeah. 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 We just we just get so, so jazzed like about the history. The history of how you started and why you started. Yeah. yeah. And the name. And this is the most interesting. Yeah. That's the personal you know, voice. I, I remember when I was first getting into this, and it was like really important to you know how do you do that? You know, physically, yeah. how, how do you make that? How do you make that? Mm -hmm. It's like okay, now you know how to make it. Yeah. But the really thing is, like, how, how do you get it going? Why did you do it? Right, yep. Right. Yeah. Right. How's it going? Actually, that's a good question. In the beginning, was it just you, or did you actually get a distiller? We had a distiller. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I thought you had mentioned that, but at the time, yeah. in 2016, I was, <clears throat> I was still pretty full time at the veterinary. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so I, I, I couldn't run. Do that, and I wasn't a distiller. And no cat, no dog. I'm disappointed for a vet. <laughs> my dog loves to come. She loves oh, to come oh my gosh! So, yep. We were on the way to Missouri for a photography conference, and we stopped at Old Fifty Five near Purdue, West Lafayette, and of course they have Maddie, big giant, big sheep giant dog sheep dog. So, I mean, Larry. that's the first time we've seen a distiller have a dog. Yeah. But oh my. Yeah. Usually it's cats. It's usually yeah. cats, yeah. Well, we were in, last time we were at Peerless, we were looking, you know, gift shop, because we're gift shop people. And I'm looking at this, I had the video camera, and all of a sudden this thing moves on the shelf. I'm looking oh, at yeah. this dog book, and there's a cat <clears throat> underneath it. I thought, oh, there's it a dog book, there's a cat book, and the cat moves. Yeah. But yeah. Great to have a cat. Yeah, I mean, sure. uh, yeah. In the wintertime, we have um, we have these big adventure tents that we put out. Oh, yeah, I saw those on the yeah, website. And, um, there was a cat that lived somewhere, I have no idea where the cat yeah. lived. And, but, you know, we, we would heat those tents and yeah. so stay warm yep. most of the night until the cat falls and whatnot. Oh, you know, oh, yeah. yeah. Left in there. Oh, Lights yeah. Probably <clears> in there. Okay, take whatever. So yeah, yeah, awesome. Yeah, for sure. Anyway, that was so. We, we really appreciate you taking yeah, yeah. us back. Yeah, yeah we definitely do. It's enjoyable to take you guys around. Yeah. yeah. This, this is the fun part of the business, you know. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's one, you know, it, it's always fun to team and do all that stuff. Yeah, but, you know, I mean, and it's great for it's you to... people come in and enjoy mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then I, mean, I, just, I, just, I really enjoy seeing somebody's dream come to fruition. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? A vision come to fruition. And stories. You know, you got, you got a... A mascal vision. vision. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you got, a, you got a workhouse out there with four fish on it. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah. 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 Working on five. Working on five. Working on five. The stories are the best part. We got to call it five fish. I also, also got to get a pass ID. You know, she's she's what we call the chief reality officer. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's this one too. That so my, one my accountant those, yeah. and then Nina. That yeah. So the two the two yeah. girls keep us grounded. So if you're oh yeah. Right. Let's go to the gift shop first. Yeah. Let's go to the gift shop first. We got to get some bottles. Right. Dave, I'm thank you very. Up against the table. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. Whoa, right. Oh, right. And it stopped raining. Hey, stop raining. Hey. Oh, they hung out there long enough. Yeah. Well, yeah, like they say everywhere. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, I think it's raining mostly at home right now. Well, I love what you're doing here, and I am rooting for your success. Yeah. We'll keep plugging away. Keep plugging away. Yeah. we got a great team here. That's what they said. Everybody doing their thing. We were talking about you. No way. <laughs> 
Oh, I didn't see this part. We didn't see this part yet. So this is the school pickup. So this is in front of the courthouse in, in Cadillac. Oh, no, all the, all, all the stills. Yeah, so it's, uh, a customer came by and said, you know, I have this really cool picture. And he brought us this. Oh, wow. That's, yeah. That's, yeah. And one of these guys is like his great grandfather. Oh. You know? so I always tell people that that was Victor's stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah, that is cool. This, that's the other reason that um, Iron Fist came up is because I like to do um, welding. And so I, this is what I do. Oh, I, really? Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. So that, that was another reason for the Iron Fist. Sure. That's why it came out of my mouth. Uh, I wish my dad was still alive. He would so be here. Yeah. Don't get a chance to do it as much as I used to. All right. Yeah, well, thank you so oh, much. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank very you. Very nice to meet you guys. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. And we hope we'll, we will be welcomed back soon. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Anytime you guys want to come back. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Enjoy, yeah. enjoy your day. Very nice. Yeah. I like what you're doing here. And yeah. Please continue to prosper. Yes, right. We're we'll rooting for your success. Yeah. We'll do that. Yeah. I'm sure Heidi won't let you screw it up. We'll be so. back there when there's, tin, <laughs> when there's tin fish out there in the warehouse. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, when it gets down to the bottom, it's like, okay, yeah. it's time to stop. Or get smaller fish. Yeah. Get smaller. Get, get minnows. That's very cool. Yeah. Take care of you guys. All right. Bye-bye. Thank, bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Much. Yeah. So that was our tour with Dave, the owner of Iron Fish. And now we're going to sit down and have dinner um, here on the premises. Um, so definitely go out and have some Iron Fish. See if your local um, liquor store has it. If not... Find it. If not, reach out to Richard. Richard. Well, let's meet him. Yes. When you get left off in the gift shop, this is what happens. We split free shop. I got you one. But it is good to see that there's this many people in tasting in the gift shop. Oh, you read my mind. I was going to ask for a box. So, all in all, we did $400 worth of damage, <laughs> but it was good. Now we're going to go see Keith, see where he wants to put us. Okay. Oh. All right, I'm gonna, you guys are there. Yeah. So this is their Black Manhattan, and they make all of the ingredients locally. So, instead of vermouth, do you remember what he said he, yes, they Amaro. used? Amaro. So they make Amaro. their only own Amaro mm -hmm. and orange liqueur. They make their own? Yep. So everything is made here. Everything is made here. What's going on over here, Nina? What is? Don't don't do it. Don't do it, Don't do it. Oh, take a drink. Yeah, it's got some heat on it right at the beginning of the. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I'm gonna do this too. Oh. Do you want to know how that happened? Yes. You want to know who was up there okay. doing the coyote this is, ugly? This is what happened. <laughs> when we first opened, we were going to have a. Uh, we were gonna have a oh, we had a drink that had parsley in it, but we were so small that we were just grocery store shopping. Yeah. So we uh, somebody came out back with a bunch of cilantro and stuff. And we already were kind of thinking about jalapeno syrup, but I'm like, it started with white rum because that's what we had at the time. We didn't have gin yet. Yeah. So we made it. We made it so we took jalapeno syrup and shook it with cilantro and mint and lime juice and made the first one, which was called a coyote call because we always have tons of coyotes around. Oh, okay. I was like, Woo! So, so yeah. the first one was called a coyote hilarious. call. And then this guy who used to work at a fishery is like, 
that drink's amazing, but it would be more amazing with our gin. And then that's where the Wiley Yeah. Yeah. It's good. It's a kicker. But actually, the problem, the thing is, is I think it's a little spicier probably than we want it right now, but I think, uh, but the, uh, well, you, you should take that out. Oh, no. That's too late now. You already got burned. The jalapenos get hotter throughout the summer. So we use less when you're making the syrup. But when you put it on the drink, it gets pretty hot. What's the leaf in there? Mint. Okay, mint? Okay. Yeah. I missed up that dog. That's good. That's good. Which one? Oh, yeah. I'm not wanting to steal it. So this really is a good place to come. Have a drink. Have a bite to eat. Um, Definitely good whiskey, good bourbon, gin, vodka. Actually, I want to do this. They do very well. Old fashioned. And the owner makes his own iron fish. That's pretty good. All right. So, Dave, what do you really think of the distillery? I loved it. It was way fun. Awesome tour. Love some of the stuff that they're doing for a small distillery. It was a blast. Great food. Yeah. It was a blast. I'd come back here in a second. All right. And Nina? Had a great time. Great food, company, great distillery. And what did you think of the spirits? They were delicious. Do you remember which one was your favorite that you old tried? old-fashioned. I wouldn't get the other one. It was a little spicy. Yes. All the one. Wiley. I love the Moscow. The Moscow. Yes. The Moscow you had, you, finish that was, a was awesome. For you. I was. I was not expecting that, but I love the Moscow. Uh, that, um, what did I have the, at the end? The 1887. 18, yes, that was good. Yeah. That's what we had originally. Yeah. That was made with our forecast. I mean, how many other distilleries do you get a tour where they actually give you a cocktail at the beginning? To carry around with you. Yeah. That's right. how they all should and be. And a party gift. Oh, yeah, and that party Yeah, gift. then we got that. And we spent money at the gift shop. Well, yeah. Actually, we pre shopped, didn't we? Yeah, and yeah. Then, yeah. we did. But, yeah. We spent like, what, 400, 500, and you guys spent like six, 700? <laughs> we spent 500. Yeah, we spent a lot. Yeah. yeah. But it was way good. So, vodka was really good. Gin was really good. Oh, good. yeah, yeah. The, that might be how we go. the gin and vodka we were not typically the profiles of gin and vodka. Yeah. The gin was probably the best gin I've had. Because it doesn't taste like gin. Yeah, they were definitely good. We ended up, we got the gin, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we bought the gin, and I would have been fine buying that particular vodka, even though vodka is only used for cleaning, but that one, I would have drank. So, you can hear the dirt road. And I'll show you what it looks like. So when we say you have to work to get to this distillery, we mean it. But it is worth the effort. Yep. So until next time, we'll see you later. <laughs>